Hey guys, welcome back to Judo Highlights, and today we're looking at Yoko Ono, who took gold at the Masters in Doha 2021. Only four matches for Ono, first up against the, the Spanish player, Bernabeu. Not enough for a score here, but Yoko Ono is known for some incredible uh, ippons. She made uh, my top ippons of the year for 2020 and a lot of other people's. She had a beautiful uh, ippon seorinage at the Grand Slam Paris 2020. So classic, classic judo here. Lovely Uchimata. Definitely an Ippon. And moving into the quarterfinals. So next up, she is against Kim, the Korean. And this is a tough match for uh, Ono, where she actually uh, gets a Wazari up against her. And eventually turns it around and scores Ippon. Yeah, it goes to the ground here. And there's that uh, top grip that Yoko Ono likes. Moving in for a Tomoinage. Almost gets it. And then at this tournament, I don't know if um, Ono had it as a part of her game plan or something that she's working on. I'm, I'm not quite sure, but she uh, is really working her Nawaza, especially in the final. It's almost as if she uh, disregards... Uh, her tachi waza and just solely goes for newaza in the final. So a stabbing little kosoto there. And this is where she uh, gets countered and goes down a wazari. And so now she's up against it. Really pressuring here. Nice kosoto gake, but no score. Kim does well to fall on her front. But Ono, uh, she's got a really high top grip now. Drives in with that Uchimata, scores uh, the pin, and Kim taps. Off to the semifinals. Ono. So Van de Jaik, she uh, had quite a lot of trouble with Ono's gripping. I think she doesn't like left-handed fighters. This uh, this match was probably the most one-sided, I think. For Ono, she, she just likes that inside grip right up there by the collarbone. Pressuring lots of, lots of uh, Ashiwaza, lots of trips. Forcing Van der Dijk down. And then into the Nawaza, which I'm pretty sure it was a, a theme that she was working on. So trying to get the turnover. Gets one hook in. But Van Dijk has uh, locked up the leg, so Ono has to change position now. Secures the head, hand on the pants, trying to get the leg out, but needs to secure up top before she can deal with the leg. Almost out there, just holding on by the ankle. And there it is, but didn't really have uh, that top position secured. So Vangedite rolls out of it. But here we go, much of the same. Ono's pushing, and Vangedite just... She hasn't got the, the tactical skills to deal with uh, left fighters. Couldn't get a good grip, and eventually loses to Shiro. So here we are in the final against the Russian, uh, Taya Mazova. And in this fight, Ono, for some reason, decides, I'm going to go to the ground, and I'm going to pin you, and that's all I'm interested in. So left versus right again, but uh, similar to the semi-final, her opponent can't get inside grip or top grip. And Ono does a brilliant job here of just uh, pressuring her down to the ground. Nice rollover. And then almost looks like she was going to get the pin, but 
The Russian does well to escape that. But Ono is just relentless. She's trying anything. Nice attempt there, but not going to happen this time. So they're back on their feet again. Ono's got nice footwork, and this time she's on the arm. This is a nice uh, turnover that you see Lipitiliani doing quite a lot. Now she's on top, but couldn't secure position. The Russian goes in for a nice Harai Makikomi there. And Ono is once again in the Nawaza. This time trying to secure back position, but the Russian has good control on Ono's left leg. So she transitions to an armbar, but it's difficult to get unless you can get that leg over the head. But this is not stopping Ono. She is determined. I, I really think she could have just gone for an Uchimata at any stage during this contest, but this is what she wants to do. So on the arm again, trying to lock it up, and then she's going to stab her left leg under Russian's belly and rolls over the top to secure top position. And this was the beginning of the end. Got the arm there, but doesn't submit, goes to the time. Ippon for Ono, which means gold. Another fabulous result for her. Alright guys, that's it from me. Uh, I'll be back tomorrow with the, the heavyweights and later on with my top Ippon's video. See you later.